everyone even if do you don't your have to yeah even if you're not if you're not allowed to decorate where you live just like decorate someone else's house yeah unless yeah. you are a painter or decorator in which case i'd imagine it would be something of as they call a busman's holiday even though i've never heard the word busman in any other context <laughs> no um if you are a painter and decorator destroy someone's house that's what you should do <laughs> yeah. for your holiday turn up with a bucket of like horrible paint throw it all over the walls and walk out and be like yeah it's my holiday that that sounds like a really bad kind of dystopian film or something like the purge or whatever where there's a week in every year where everyone has to do the exact opposite of what their profession is so i have to spend a week of the year burning books oh my god paddy 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 we call it opposite day it's a thriller you have paramedics running around stabbing people you've got you've got booksellers destroying books I you got king, kings and queens being ruled by other people. Yep, yep. U- UKIP being not racist. <laughs> Banks just burning money. <laughs> yeah, instead of you taking money out of the bank, you have to take all your money and like put it into a cash machine. Yes, yeah, you have to shove it in. Um, Otherwise, you don't get any money the other 364 days of the year. Football is playing rugby. Hmm. Baseball is playing American football. (laughs) Ice hockey players still playing ice hockey, but they have to push the stick around on the ice with pucks. (laughs) That would be excellent. That would sort of be like miniature curling. Yes, yeah. Um, Yeah, this this is amazing. And then then it's all about one person who's fighting against the system. He's like, we've got to get out of here. Yeah, this is a barbaric tradition. (laughs) Yeah. They're not going to save you this time. We've got to reach the morticians before it's too late. Oh, yeah. So they're the only people who can save lives. Yes, exactly. That and mass murderers. They let they let um, serial killers out of prison just for oh, that yeah. one day. And they have to go around and save people from doctors. Because, of course, nice. the prison guards would be doing the anti job of letting all of the prisoners out. Yeah, because the prisoners would be not imprisoned. Exactly. Dogs would be cats. <laughs> it would mean, extend to the animal kingdom as well. So all the birds would get in the sea and all the fish would get in the sky. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th- this this writes itself really, doesn't it? We're halfway there. Yeah. We're halfway towards a fantastic thriller. <laughs> we've, bo- we've Bon jovi it. We have Bon jovi it. I think we could definitely get like Mark Wahlberg into Star. Oh my God. This, this film was made for Mark Wahlberg. He would totally be on board with this movie. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf could be one of the crazy doctors. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf is one of the crazy doctors. Mark Wahlberg is an ambulance driver who normally obeys the law of opposite day, but one day turns around and says, no, I'm not going to run over people in my ambulance. He's mad as hell and he's not going to take it anymore. He is not going to take it anymore. And he rebels against the system. So we've got my main man, Shia LaBeouf. Who else could we have? Hmm. Tom Hanks, maybe, as the president who yeah. is no longer the president on that day. So he's the, yeah, so they, he has to be kept safe. Otherwise, someone else could become president. There's, there'll be some kind of presidential plot thing. Evil right wing vice president trying to take over or something. Yeah, yeah. Played by, it would be Kevin Spacey if he hadn't been a bad man. We could, we could cast James Woods and just not tell James Woods it's a movie. <laughs> yeah, or um, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, there we go. Tell him, um, tell him that Obama did it. <laughs> you but... won't believe this, Clint, but the last thing Obama did before he left office was declare opposite day a real day, and now you have to be the vice president of the United States. Yeah, it's an Obama nation. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. This this is going to be a very very good film. It's going to I be think incredible. This, this has the potential to smash the box office even more than Sensations. Yeah, because I think it has more universal appeal. Yeah, it's not it's not got that because Sensations was purely sort of like a character driven comedic romance film. Yeah, um, you know, it's a very thoughtful film, whereas this is just pure action, obviously with heavy societal themes. Sensations does not appeal to the bloke market. No, sadly, no. Um, but yeah, yeah, opposite day. Yeah, 
Look out for that. Coming to a cinema near you in 2020. Yeah. You'll see trailers for it before the next uh, Purge movie. So watch out for that when you go and see yeah. the new Purge. <laughs>